8 at sunrise in high definition continues. Well, welcome back. CPA Chris Gamble is back with us. Chris, good to see you. Good to see you. So some income tax laws being passed last December. We should be thinking about these. Uh, where do we begin with our thoughts? Yeah, so this past December, the Protecting Americans from Tax Hikes Act was passed. It's an important piece of legislation. It's not only going to impact 2015, but tax years into the future. We believe that this will impact nearly every individual in business. What's significant about this as it relates to taxes? So... The difference about this legislation compared to past legislation, again, is it goes out many years into the future. It really should help people with their tax planning. All right, you say it's going to affect individuals as well as businesses. Let's start with the individual portion of this, of this new law. Right. For individuals, there's many different rule changes. Uh, the one that allows people to deduct state and local sales tax as part of their itemized deductions has been made permanent. There's an American Opportunity Tax Credit and Education Credit made permanent. There is a rule allowing people who need to take distributions from IRAs to take those distributions, give them to a charity tax-free, um, many others that will impact individuals. Okay, so that's from an individual standpoint. What about businesses? They need to be focused in on this as well. Right. There's a permanent extension of the Section 179 depreciation expensing, which allows businesses that acquire capital assets to deduct up to 500000 in the first year permanent extension of the research and development credit, which businesses are developing new technologies and new processes uh, use. Okay, so it's it, it, clearly those changes are, are to help businesses or encourage them to go ahead and do R&D right. or, or add capital or, or right. add, you know, uh, equipment, if you will. There's one other thing about this, though, you, you say that we should be uh, keeping aware of. Yeah, one other piece of good news from this legislation is the increase in IRS funding. It's not intended for enforcement or compliance, but $290 million additional dollars in the IRS budget to help on customer service, cybersecurity, and help prevent taxpayer identity theft. Uh, and we've talked about that, and we've talked about it in the past, where, where, where that customer service has been an issue, and, and, right. and obviously that identity theft, cybersecurity is, is a continuing issue. Right. They've been issues the last several years. And, and this conversation isn't in the abstract. These taxes and these tax changes should be top of mind this time of year. Yep. Our 2015 tax filing season is upon us. People should really start getting their information together early if they find they're missing something they have time to get everything together file your refund on time and file your tax return on time hopefully get a refund right. and then go ahead and find a way to spend that money right. maybe on a powerball ticket right that could that would be nice <laughs> all right chris uh thank you uh if you missed any of this uh, we will share it on our website as well including the state society's website nyssCPA.org. you'll find it at rochesterfirst.com